What's up everybody, Kaden TXD here, back at it again with another banger for you guys. Today we're going to be starting a new series where I teach you guys how to play certain characters. If you haven't been paying any attention, it is very apparent that there are a lot of new players on Xenoverse 2 in 2021. Now, I already have an idea lined up for the next few characters, so if you want a specific character, comment down below. However, there is a disclaimer. I will not teach characters that I don't know. That should be obvious. Of course, if you comment down below a character, I will tell you if I know how to play them or not. Lastly, don't ask for Bluku, Base School, or Gaku. Thank you. Over the course of the video, you guys will learn four things about your character. Their strengths and weaknesses, their combos, their stamina breaks, and their recovery. All of those are the essential things to learn your character. So, let's get right into it. Hey, and while you're at it, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. All the little support helps. Also, go follow me on Twitch. We should be live right now. So, come through after you watch the video. Let's get right into it. Since the beginning of Xeno, male Saiyans have been a staple in the community. Literally everyone and their mom has one. With each update adding new supers, ultimates, and super souls just adds another reason for people to play the male Saiyan. Let's get into what makes male Saiyans strong. With the first being their flexibility. No matter how you build your male sand, they are bound to hit hard. Whether you have a key blast, melee build, or an all strike build, all of it works. They also have a good amount of health too, so if you want a tanky build, you don't have to spend all your points on their health. Most sands, in my opinion, are the only CECs who can do everything without having to dump a lot of points into their stat. But if you do end up focusing on one or two stats, oh boy. The amount of fucking damage is outright ridiculous. If you couldn't guess what the second thing was that made them strong, it's all of their damage. Not only do male Saiyan combos hurt like hell, but to combine it with the monstrous strength of Ki Blast or melee super attacks makes for a frightening CEC to fight. God forbid they have god tier QQ Bang that buff literally everything. Because it is possible now. Fucking tier 6 QQ Bang with little to no negatives. Who the fuck came up with that? And if you think you can easily stop this onslaught of attacks, you're wrong. The third thing that makes male Saiyan so strong is their recovery. Literally on most of male Saiyan combos they have great recovery, so trying to pressure them is like putting a gun to Arnold Schwarzenegger's head and telling him to recite the alphabet backwards. He'll fucking do it, don't try him. And then he'll beat the fuck out of you for trying him. Male Saiyan recovery is so good it can keep up with most high tier characters. Even though the recovery is good, if your movement is bad it won't really matter. So take some time out and go learn how to move in Xenoverse 2. With Xeno Netcode, having good recovery puts you league above others. If you don't have, you better hope you have some other way to defend yourself, which male Saiyans do. Leading us into our fourth strength for the male Saiyans, which is their back hit. The back hit on a male Saiyan is the most dangerous tool they have in my opinion. I can't explain this one, so just watch. As you can see, back hits are dangerous in any connection when it comes to male sands. Last but not least, male sands have a great number of long knockbacks. What this means is your opponent is stuck in a knockback so far that you can do almost anything afterwards. If you have a super that takes a while to start up, you do these type of knockbacks. It even works with some ultimates too, or if you feel like your melee damage is better, you can dash or step vanish to pick it up. When doing these combos, you do what is better known as an unvanishable combo. As the name implies, whatever is done after the knockback, you cannot vanish from that attack, especially if it's a super or an ultimate. 
so be mindful when using these combos. This is very looked down upon in the community because it can create some very annoying players. This is also the reason why some evasive skills only cost 2 bars of stamina. I have my own little rule about it where if they have 2 stamina bars or less, I'll do it. Only because you can get the wrong combo sometimes so you can't stamina break, so I just go for an unvanishable combo. Plus it makes LB people angry. Male Saiyans may be strong in almost every regard but they are not without flaw. Male Saiyans have 2 major weaknesses and a minor one. The first and weakness being gaps. If you didn't watch the last video, which I highly recommend you do, I explain what gaps are. But for the sake of the video, I'll explain again. A gap is Xenoverse's way of telling you your combo is not a true block string. Within a couple of frames, it allows your opponent to stop blocking and block again to get a perfect block. Male Saiyans have a lot of gaps in their combos. If you are very good at perfect blocking, punishing a Male Saiyan is an easy feat for you. About 4 of Male Saiyan combo strings have gaps. There will be a list of combos that will be shown right now. Most of their combos can be punished simply by perfect blocking. In my opinion, that is the best way to deal with a male Saiyan. Hopefully Xeno doesn't cuck you when you get to do that perfect block. Don't forget, they have good recovery and knowing Xeno's connection, it's not impossible for them to escape the punish. If you know your character is slower, go for a super attack or a grab after the perfect block. Now, let's move on to the second weakness, which is predictable. Now let me explain how a male Saiyan's predictability is different from a female Saiyan's. Because there are so many people with male Saiyan as their main CEC, you will come across them a lot in casual rank PvP. So after a while you will naturally get used to how they play and their patterns. Every if not all male Saiyans do the same tactic. Step vanish, mash square, and key cancel if it fails, or do triangle square triangle and repeat the process. The old saying if it ain't broke don't fix it is very fitting here. Or if you're one of those people you square triangle. If you know your opponent is going to do all those things, it's easy for you to telegraph them. And like I said before, if your PvE game is good, male sands are not an issue. They are only oppressive to those who don't have solid defense or solid movement. Lastly, which is a bit of a minor issue for me personally, is the lack of knockdown combos and how long it takes to do the ones they have. They only have two knockdown strings, one being all triangles and the second one being five squares in the triangles. I recommend using all triangles because it's a lot faster than doing 5 squares in the triangles. If you have, if your opponent is stamina broken and you have a spear ult, you have to do a quick knockdown to pull it off. But you only have one that's semi okay, which is the all triangles. Let's not forget most spear ults take a bit to launch. I don't recommend using the 5 squares in the triangles one if you want to finish someone. Ults that rely on being on the ground or require a knockdown is not well suited for male sands. Stick with beams or melee ults that can be used in the air. In summary, male Saiyans are the epitome of a well-balanced character, at least when it comes to CECs. They are easy to learn but also easy to punish. Utilize your good recovery to take control of the fight and dish out monsters damage. But be careful because your predictable playstyle can and will be punished. If after hearing all that you still want to learn, let's get right into the combos. These combos are all BNB combos or bread and butter combos for those who are new to that slang. I will not be showing every combo route. It's pointless to teach them if you're not going to use it. Not to mention some of them don't even work online. Dash attack all squares. The first combo we'll be looking at is 5 squares. Even though it's the most basic mash square combo, honestly this is also the most versatile for many sayings. Reason being that it leads into all of your other dangerous streams. When you do 5 squares in the triangle for example, most people tend to snap after the first triangle. Little do they know you have tons of recovery on them, so you can either punish them with a back hit or swerve behind them to take your turn back. It's also pretty safe on block as well. You may not be able to mash square right afterwards, but you can block. Who am I kidding? Knowing Xenoverse connection, you can probably mash and clash if you're fast anyway. Ooh, bars, but look. Key canceling is not as viable here as you think. Sure you can do it, but if it whiffs or hits their guard, you'll be the one who is stunlocked. I don't know why this happens, chalk it up to Xenoverse netcode to be honest. This happens a lot more often than you think, so don't try it as much. The next combo string we'll be looking at is Square Triangle. Square Triangle is one of the mini combos I mentioned earlier that has an unvanishable knockback. You can use most supers and alts after doing this knockback. This is also Mel Saiyan's best recovery string. It's widely used in the community and some people are known to only use the string. It's just that good, what can I say? Even though it has a gap, majority of Xeno players are not good enough at perfect blocking it, so most Mel Saiyans can get away with it. Only using square triangle is very looked down upon, so don't solely rely on that combo. There will be a day when someone will destroy that playstyle and you won't have any other options. 
What I suggest is to use this occasionally. Say your opponent is blocking. That's a good time to use it because you're putting pressure on them so they can open up. Using it over and over again can get really annoying, but if they don't punish you, I see why people abuse it. Another time to use it is if you're facing a high tier character. Most high tier characters have phenomenal recovery, so this string is the only way male Saiyans can keep up. The next combo we'll be looking at is all triangles. This combo is the main combo you will use for all your knockdowns after a stamina break. This combo also does some good damage too, so it'll make your opponent snap before getting hit with the full combo. Usually, this combo has good spacing, so it's pretty good for back hits as well. This combo is another one of those unvanishable knockbacks. The first three hits specifically. It's pretty bad on block, so I don't recommend it. Key canceling won't help either, so don't bother. Even though it stops him from attacking, you are more negative than he is. If your opponent has a faster jab, you are going to lose. So take my advice and don't key cancel after this combo. Realistically speaking, you should only use this combo after a dash attack and when their stamina is low. Around 4 or less to be more specific. Reason being that spacing can be used against you as well. If they are good at PB then they will get you. But if they snap, you do have an option of key cancelling and escaping instead of going for a back hit. The last combo we will be looking at is honestly the most dangerous combo male sands have. Triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. This combo has literally everything. It has great block stun, it can be an unvanishable, all or super, it's invincible on the last hit from basic attack and evasives, it has great priority and damage, and it can also be used as a stamina break. This combo is truly what defines a male Saiyan. But before we dive into the combo thoroughly, let's talk about this. You see this? This right here is broken. This is what you would call priority. Most high tier characters have some form of high tier priority on their dash attacks. People that come to mind are Goku and Hit. You see, having this priority makes this combo way more dangerous than it needs to be. If I catch you from this far and I'm still able to continue my combo, that's a threat. Now I know what you're thinking, you both may just have poor connection with each other, so yeah, you might get a few slip up here and there. Hmm. Would you look at that? It don't matter the connection. It will happen that's just how xenoverse is i don't know what else to tell you now that you know about the first thing to this dangerous string let's move on to the second part these kicks i don't know who made these kicks but they should be fired they have almost if not the same priority as the dash attack and oh because xenoverse netcode exists you can get hit from anywhere because this is a multi hitting button it has great block stun most people think this specific part of the combo string is a gap and every time they try to perfect block it, they are gonna get hit. There's absolutely no need to key cancel unless you know your opponent is slamming their face into the square button. If they are, more than likely it will cause a clash than anything else. If you know your opponent isn't good at blocking, you can stagger your hits with the string to force them out of block. They will keep trying to perfect block you and when they fail, you can punish it. The only way to really punish the string is to perfect block the first hit. This is how you stop a male Saiyan from garnering any momentum. When this string does get perfect block, you are left wide open, so do be careful. To continue on with this godly string, I mentioned earlier how the last hit is invulnerable to attacks. Well, that's not entirely true. You see, at the end of the combo, they have what is known as iframes, or invincibility frames, meaning that they are completely untouchable when doing whatever it is they are doing. Iframes can be on anything, keep that in mind. When a hit doesn't register, it's either Xeno Netcode or an iframe. The last hit of the string has a massive amount of iframes, so if you try to evasive this at the wrong time, you may end up wasting your stamina, and even worse, getting hit. It still loses the AoE evasives like DBZ Broly's or Ice Shenron's. You can try to PB this, but learning the timing is hard. Realistically, the only ways to punish this is to sidestep it just before it hits, or shoot a key blast with more priority, meaning a super key blast and not one of your evasives. That about covers it for the combos, all that's left is to show you the stamina breaks and the little gameplay.
similar as this character, the male Sam is a very all-around character that boasts the highest potential for all CECs in my opinion. They can literally do anything, so why wouldn't you pick them? Be mindful though, just as easy as they are to pick up, they are also easy to read. Bitches that I can't be. They looking for a